Recording? Yep. All right. Got about 18 and a half minutes. I guess the first thing we got to start off with is what exactly you're going to need. Obviously, clean tail light. You're going to need one. Leave it on the car. It's a lot easier to put on. Piece of tint. Obviously, this ain't big enough for what we're going to be doing. The size we're going to be using, is this the one? Yep. Okay, this one is big enough. What we do is is uh, we cut it basically so there's about an inch above the light and below the light and as much as you need to grab a hold of on each side. I'd say maybe about six to ten inches on each side so you can move it and do what you need with it. Um, household items include a hair dryer or a heat gun. I say hair dryer because you can go with a low heat and a low uh, fan. You don't have to be so high. Um, a squeegee, which we're using our own squeegee, but it came with a squeegee that uh, we don't use. Um, an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors. A pair of scissors is easy to cut the tint with before to make it the right size. An X-Acto knife is a lot easier to use when you need to cut along the edges of the tail light. Um, soap and water solution to put on the tail light before you put the tint on and on the outside of the tent, you'll see once we get to it, on the outside of the tent to make it easier to squeegee. Alright, let's let's get started on this. Make sure that the spray doesn't spray in a direct jet. Make sure it's like a an actual spray or a mist. What you want to do is, is spray the tail light fairly good, a decent amount. Not so it's dripping, but enough to where it covers the whole tail light. Get the tint off of the two people. There we go. Obviously, if you've got a buddy or a friend, it's a lot easier to do with a friend. What you do is just put the tint on the flattest part of the tail light you can, because you can see that we've got a contour tail light. Put it on the flattest part you can, get that part done first, and then we'll show you how to get it onto the curves. Spray the outside of the tint lightly so your squeegee doesn't scratch. Start by pushing from the inside outwards to get the tint to stick and to get the soap and water solution out of your way. Being that this tail light is fairly contoured on every angle Take this and wrap it around the edge of the tail light. I might have to make some relief cuts on the tint, make it easier to move it and do what you got to do with it, especially in corners. in the background telling me stuff. That's why that I keep looking back. you can't see the light on the video. Huh? Because I only see you. In the video? Alright, 
Oh, that's alright. We'll see it afterwards. Yeah. Don't need to see the light. Underneath the taillight, between the bumper and the taillight, you want to try and stuff as much as you can under there for now until you get the heat gun on it to apply it. I'm going to apply some heat up here, actually. comes in hand here. Now you want to heat up, see where these wrinkles are? Heat up these wrinkles here, this section right here. Not too much, but enough. So where your partner can now take it and just fold it up and stretch it over. See how it's stretching? And then you take your squeegee at the same time. Peel it back a couple times and reheat it up, stretch it out. section at a time basically. Take your time. If it doesn't look good at first, it doesn't hurt to so take it off and try it again. Stretch out this point. So you get it just right.
not going to get all the bubbles out on the first try. Unless you're really, really good at it, you've been doing it for as long as we have. Final score. 34 to 31. No shit. 21 to nothing. They lost? Yep. Grab there, yep. grab there. Oh, just one spot. And they lost on top of it. Yeah. 21 to nothing. Don't, don't look at him. I know. Man. Can I pull that, pull that back? Well, this one here. There you go. Yep, just threw it right off the top. There you go. Hey, there's other extension cords. Bring the camera closer, show them somewhere. I know my hat's a little on backwards, but this is the only way it fits my fat head. But basically, that is how you do it. Now, see how it's all on the tail light? I mean, it goes right over all the lettering, everything. And then that's what the heat gun is for, is to stretch it out. Now you go around. And all this access you're going to trim off like this over here. Just take the X-Acto knife and do your best. Trying to trim it off. Trim off the access. Do the same thing down in every spot you've got any access. And you see all these little spots. What you want to do is take the heat gun, heat it up just a little bit, and then Take the, the edge that's the, the smallest and stuff it into there. Once again, take the heat gun, fold it over. I find that leaving it in there, apply a little heat is usually the best option. Yeah. Apply a little heat. Now, see these bubbles? Those should just. If the bubbles don't come out on the first try, your best option is to let it dry for 24 hours you want to let it dry and then what you want to do is go back later with like a pin or a needle probably can't hear me with a pin or a needle and just poke a little hole right there and then squeeze out the rest and you won't even see it but go over the whole tail light make sure you get all the all the glue all the soap and water you just put in here out And that is your base. That is your basic installation of taillight tint from blinglights.com. <laughs>